So I'm gonna start to this video with removal of jams and then probably add in um, how I like to prep my nails to apply. Um, little background, I started using Jamberry when I was pregnant with Jamie. Um, a girlfriend of mine sold them, I bought some before I went off on mat leave, then while off on mat leave, couldn't sleep, couldn't get comfortable. Was waiting a while for that baby to come out, so I figured, hey, let's actually try doing them. Um, I sucked it at the first time. They didn't last very long, but they were really pretty. Um, so I have naturally very dry hands. Um, I definitely run on the dry spectrum for skin in general. Um, I'm also an obsessive compulsive picker. Exhibit A, my face right now. So I've always been prone to picking at, oops, wrong, sorry for the finger, but picking my cuticles, because they're always super dry. It doesn't help that I obsessively wash my hands as well. Um, yeah, I obsessively bite, pick, you know, all things glamorous. So um, I really started to like, um, so when my first Jamie Cure didn't work very well, my parents saying hello. Um, I started doing some research and you know, I was saying, you know, you need to prep, you need to prep, you need to prep. You need to push back your cuticles, cuticle care, cuticle care, cuticle care. And I am the type that if there's anything to pick at, as I was saying, I will, which is usually, I don't know, my middle fingers are always the worst, but stuff like this. As soon as there is something dry, I will get in there with my teeth or just pick it out with my nail until it looks something like that, that is much improved. So I really started to like the focus on caring for my hands because I never thought about it or cared about it before I would just obsessively attack them. So um, I started to notice that with caring for my hands better, my applications got better and better. Again, I've been with the company just over a year. Yeah, about a year and a half probably um, since I became a consultant. So I just like the focus on getting my hands healthier. Um, a little background, they have gel polish, uh, a product called Color Cure, which is kind of in between lacquer and polish. Uh, nail lacquer, nail wraps, hand care, foot care. Uh, they have uh, Beauty Boost, which help, is a multivitamin that helps with hair and nails. I've never taken it personally because multivitamins always make me nauseous. Um, but my friend who is also my sponsor for Jamberry takes them and her na nails are gorgeous. Um, she swears by it. Really nice stuff. Um, so yeah, all that we can talk about in person, but let's get to taking these suckers off and prepping nails. There are a few ways that you can remove. Um, there is the Jamberry nail uh, wrap and lacquer remover. Um, pretty nice stuff. It is non-acetone. It's not really stinky. I mean, yeah, it smells like nail polish remover, um, but this stuff is, it's oily. It feels slippery when you use it. That's kind of the thing is the, so the adhesive is heat and pressure activated and it hates oils. So you definitely need to make sure you have a clean oil free surface. Okay, so this is kind of oily. I like it, as you can tell, because I don't wear lacquer because I'm too hard on my nails and my nails are quite flimsy, so I can crack a lacquer or polish in 20 minutes after doing it and that makes me mad because I suck at painting. So these are definitely my dream boats. Um, so you can use this or where? Huh, I didn't bring it. Anyway, the other way that I prefer to do it is uh, warmed up olive oil or coconut oil, anything oily. We, there is a cuticle oil, which is really good. Um, I, it is, it has a scent. Um, it's not scented per se, but it's very, uh, I think it's made of almond oil, so it definitely smells, which I love on my cuticles. It, I have my one that is a to-go pen in my car for after work, because my hands are atrocious, nine times out of 10. So I love it, love it, love it, but I don't like removing my nails with it because it stinks. Well, it doesn't stink, it's just, it's too strong for me to like. So yeah, I usually use an unscented or whatever oil. You can use vegetable. Groovy. So what you need to do since they form a seal, let's start with this one, is 
you're going to take this is an orange stick which you get in an application kit and you're just going to loosen the side so this is the way that Jamberry says to do it is you're just going to loosen up one side okay just kind of like that so see there's a little peel up okay then I'm just going to I like to take Q-tip in my remover it is a pump and mine has kind of been through the ringer because I'm dropsy so then you're going to get into this part and I like to peel it back and I just start working the remover in like that now it says a lot of the gals that I know who are consultants all over Canada and the US so the company is also Canada, US, New Zealand, UK, uh, Australia and Mexico so they usually go side to side because I have the weakest tips is where I always have problems I prefer to get a side and then go to the tip and then I will go from the tip to the cuticle just kind of like that with my remover just working my way at the adhesive okay and using my little orange stick to soften it so I will also sometimes just soak I'm sorry I cannot do this one handed I have never acquired that skill and just saturating and gently working it free my parrot says hi some more so we're just going to keep working. So if I go from fingertip to cuticle, I don't crack or break off my tip. So basically clean, just need to give it a little once over. Groovy. And that is removed. All right, once removed, it's really important that you work on your cuticles. Any amount of the, whatever, everyone in Jabra calls it your invisible cuticle. I don't know what it's really called, but I will call it that. So it's where your cuticle has grown out on your finger and has left a little bit of a film, which happens to everyone. Kids have a lot of the cuticle. Sometimes kids' cuticles can be like almost halfway down their nail or more. Um, men tend to have pretty good cuticle because they just generally don't care about nail care as much as women tend to. So this I have is super cheap Sally Hansen, Sanson, Sally Hansen cuticle remover. They do have a cuticle remover pen through the company, um, which I hear is great, but I have, this is on sale, so I just put some on, let it sit because I, as I was saying, have really atrocious um, cuticles, they just are the bane to my existence. So another way that I will do it sometimes, I'm just going to let this cuticle remove itself for a bit, um, and show you another way. So I will take a cotton pad, soak it, and again, get your edge up. There we go. Okay. And then I will take this nice soaked pad and work it in the side and let it sit. So now that this has been on for a while, I kind of try to do it too first. So this is my one with the cuticle remover gel. And now I can more easily and gently work off more of my dry skin because I here you go. see I'm using pad to soak. Uh, hush. So yeah, it's just a process of gently coaxing and so I'll even just rub and roll. Um, just yeah, like this rub and roll. Make sure it's nice and saturated. So again, hold it right where the nail and the wrap have contact, let it soak in, 
and roll it off. Now I still, if I'm in too much of a hurry, I have um, woo, scuffed up my nail uh, plate. Not my nail plate, um, get my actual nail itself and done a bit of damage. Or, like, I'm quite rough on my hands, so I will get cracks and other such things, which I find the wraps kind of help with that. So they, if I have a cracked nail and I really, really want to salvage it, I will file it really far down, which this one actually has that. So I'll file quite short and then put a wrap on and leave it on as long as I can. And just keep going like that till I can grow out my damage. I used to just try to grow out the damage without them, but that was tedious and irksome. So there we go. There are two clean removed nails. Just that's it.